so without wasting our time we'll starting the lecture and i'm requesting you to start, watch this video from start to end so let's start the video friends when we we'll discuss about the centrifugal pump then we we'll first we we'll define what is centrifugal pump when we are defining the centrifugal pump we say that this type of pump are used to transport fluid by conversion of rotational kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow means Uh, we can say that the centrifugal pump is the type of pump in which we can transport mean send the fluid from one place to another by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy mean the rotational kinetic energy of the impeller to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow hope you will understand that uh, uh, centrifugal pump means that uh, uh, pumps are used to transport or used to send the fluid by one place to another by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy when we are discuss about the other rotational kinetic energy we said that the kinetic energy of the rotational kinetic energy of the impeller to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow hope you will understand this is the centrifugal pump and the most important term is priming is used in the centrifugal pump what is the priming and why priming is necessary in the centrifugal pump when we only discuss about the priming when we can say that the priming is a process priming is a process in which impeller of the centrifugal pump will get fully submerged in the liquid without any air drive inside this uh, this is specially required uh, where where there is a first uh, stand up mean you can say that the priming is a process in which impeller impeller of the centrifugal pump will fully uh, will get fully submerged in the liquid or water fully submerged in the liquid without any trap inside means that the casing casing of the centrifugal pump in which impeller is built up then this casing is full up of the water that that this process is called priming process and this priming process is only necessary for first startup mean uh, when we are starting the uh, when we starting the centrifugal pump first we put the water in the casing of the centrifugal pump uh, where is the impeller and the impeller will fully get submerged submerged with the water means there is no air trap inside the casing then this process is called priming process and priming in the centrifugal pump and when we discuss why priming is necessary in this uh, uh, in the centrifugal pump is necessary we say that the centrifugal pumps are not capable of pumping air or vapor because the force force developed by the air is not enough to lift the water from the suction side because that the density of the air is approximately 1000 times lesser than the water therefore the priming process is most important and therefore it is required now you will understand why pro- priming process is necessary we can say that the uh, centrifugal pumps are not capable not capable or not designed for pumping the air or the vapor because the air that is developed by the uh, f- uh, that is developed by uh, that is developed by the the force sorry the force that is developed by the air is not enough to lift the water therefore we put the water in the casing that the impeller will fully submerged friends i hope you will understand these two to three terms regarding the centrifugal pumps for first of centrifugal what is centrifugal pump then what is the priming process in this pump and why priming process is necessary in this pump therefore i am hope uh, i hope that you will enjoy this video and you will learn a lot from this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and push the bell button uh, for more interesting and latest videos thanks for watching